Hello, ESPU Scholars, and welcome to the cell. Here on the screen, you see a typical eukaryotic cell, which is us. We are animals. And it will be essentially your job to review your biology and recall what these things do. For example, the ribosomes, which are uh, protein producing little bodies in the cell. Um, uh, lysosomes, we'll talk about, that do. Uh, many janitorial functions along with peroxisomes that do a lot of work with oxygen type compounds um, you know then there's some things that some cells have and some don't there's the flagella for movement which is not typical of all cells but just possibilities there the microvilli you see those in the small intestine as they increase surface area for absorption um, and stuff. So anyhow, let's look at some of those functions. Here we have your plasma membrane. It's a phospholipid bilayer, if you remember, with many proteins and carbohydrates and stuff. Uh, you see here's the glycocalyx that identifies you as you. That's got some uh, carbohydrates on it. Here are proteins that are there for a little bit of structure and transport. Uh, here's the hydrophilic end of the phospholipid and the hydrophobic end which tells you that this is uh, phospholipids are amphipathic. Um, you also have um, some cholesterol, some fats in there to um, keep the fluid mosaic membrane uh, working. Anyhow, this is the selectively permeable uh, membrane that uh, keeps control of things that are allowed in and out. Here you see a protein that does facilitate a diffusion also. But that is the job, to control what comes in and out. Okay, the, Here's a nice picture of the cytoskeleton. Of course, the cytoskeleton is both there for structure and function. It does act, as it says, as a skeleton to give some shape and continuity. Um, but it is also, as you uh, had there, to anchor the organelles. And then for things like the lysosomes and stuff as a pathway as motor proteins can uh, use them to uh, essentially walk uh, through the cell until they maybe dispose of their product through exocytosis. Here, of course, is the nucleus, which contains the DNA. It is its own uh, protective membrane with nuclear pores to allow RNA in and out, messenger RNA in and out, and basically it is there to protect your DNA. Uh, the only time that you don't see it is uh, when it dissolves during DNA synthesis uh, and copying and then reforms. But it is your controller. Okay, Here's your endoplasmic reticulum. Ribosomes are often associated uh, with them. And that would be the rough endoplasmic reticulum, which is there to both kind of transport and package um, uh, proteins. Uh, you also have a smooth endoplasmic reticulum over here, which is for lipids and fats and detoxification of alcohol. Um, but uh, as proteins are made into ribosomes, those that need to go into the uh, endoplasmic, the free proteins that are made in the cytoplasm are for the cell itself. Those that need to be packaged and sent outside then, those ribosomes migrate to the rough endoplasmic reticulum where they're chemically modified and package then right next to that is the Golgi apparatus you can see the transport where they're brought in for final packaging and um, obviously the membranes here uh, are essentially the same phospholipid membrane as a plasma membrane so that they can dispense their proteins through uh, exocytosis okay and here is a look at what lysosomes do, and, and they have a couple of things they can do. Uh, in phagocytosis, they are digesting food enzymes and stuff, and then getting rid of the waste. You can see what they do is a food vacuole uh, pinches off here as it brings in food, um, and then the lysosome will mesh with it, bringing the enzymes digested. Eventually, this vacuole will... Um, break apart and bring the nutrients or at least the nutrients will be used and the others will be destroyed here it also controls uh, old proteins and stuff and damaged mitochondria etc 
again, it will fuse, it will break down what's there, and then oftentimes just bring it to the plasma membrane for exocytosis. Okay. And all your ATP and energy production occurs at the mitochondria. Uh, you can see it here. It's got an outer membrane for protective and inner membranes where uh, proton pumps and stuff can be used to make ATP. Um, should point out too that mitochondria has its own DNA. Um, it is believed to have initially been a symbiotic relationship years ago. Uh, many, many years ago, and then eventually uh, became an organelle with some of its own independent structures. Okay, So there you go. There's your quick overview of the cell and the functional parts that will be uh, key for us. Uh, Scholar on Eastview.